perhaps? <sighs> All right. First, the purse. I... God damn it. <laughs> I will have a look around. Thank you, sir. All right. Let's see if we can try and fucking, like, bash his door in or some shit. He doesn't make a very balanced impression. And he, of all people, isn't bothered by a robbery in his own museum. Yeah, that makes no fucking sense. Professor Lucien? Yes? Do you have the key? Actually, I wanted to. Please, I have to go back to my compartment. Well, I'm trying. You can easily lock the compartment door from inside by turning a little knob. But I didn't lock it. Professor, if you had locked the door from in there, you wouldn't be out here. Uh, that's true. Alright, let's try and use this toothpick. No, it's not gonna work. Whose pills are these? Pills for my heart. I'm supposed to take one if I have trouble. My daughter insisted that I take that with me. She was strongly against this little adventure, but I wasn't about to change my mind. Interesting. I bought it last week at a flea market. I like it because it tells a story. I suppose the previous owner bought himself a new one. This one still works just fine, though. Okay. I won't eat any just now. It would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuart's pencil. Probably one of the most traveled pencils in the world. The wooden toothpicks are packed into small pickle wrappers. Nothing unusual. Should, should I ask for an autograph? That will be quite unprofessional. But on the other hand... Hello, Matt. Oh, are you Come really on. mad with me? Are you going to be angry with me for the rest of the trip? Until I get my pistol back. I gave it to your mother. Oh, man. Couldn't you have just raked me over the coals? No. Nope. Would you have learned anything from that? I didn't learn anything from this either. What a spoiled old brat. God damn. What am I supposed to do? All right. Let's see if there's anything to examine over if here. I make trouble. You want more? Oh my more? god. A passenger is missing her purse. Perhaps you've seen it. So, there are thieves on the train. It's been missing for some time now. Probably since Zurich. <laughs> the Swiss don't let go of money easily, do they? Oh, pardon. No, I haven't seen the purse. Have a good trip. Thank you. All right, let's see if there's anything to examine in this area. Let's look outside the window. Maybe I see some unusual shit going on out there. We Swiss are crazy about trains. That's we don't great. just have a lot of railroads. We have the most beautiful ones in the world. That's fucking great. All right. So there's nothing over here. I'll keep going. I think I need to find this first. First. Maybe I need to ask for an autograph of some sort. An extraordinary woman. Talented, intellectual, extremely rich, and the most successful writer of all time. Yet, they say she can be difficult on occasion, and that she's rather unhappy. Well, sign my book. Excuse me, Lady Westmacott. Constable Zelda, how can I help you? A passenger's purse has gone missing. I suppose you haven't seen it. I'm sorry, Constable Zelna. As you know, I only deal with murder, not burglary. Have you asked my boy yet? Maddie is good at finding things. 
I'll go and do that now. I uh, was wondering if you might sign your book, Constable Zelda? If it isn't too much of an inconvenience. Of course it's an inconvenience, but only a small one. Thank you. You are welcome. Thank you so very much. Another time. Farewell, Lady Westmacott. Constable. All right, let's go ask Maddie where this fucking purse is. Yo, Matt. Come on, Matt. Did you really think that you can ignore me for longer than I can ignore you? I'm Swiss. It's practically a national sport. Well, shit, what the hell do I have to do? Do you want butterscotch? Would you like a butterscotch? You think you can bribe me? I have no reason to. You made trouble and got punished for it. Take it as a peace offering. Just four? If I'm faster than you, there'll only be three. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, hey. Friends again? Mm hmm All right, then. And no dangerous nonsense anymore. Okay. All right, now he's talking. Let's do this shit. Aye. Right. Your mother is Lady Westmacott's companion, correct? Yeah, but it's not like you think. At first I thought, boy, you must be really wicked if you need to pay for friends. But the lady's really okay. A bit odd and really old. But other than that, she's great. She likes me. The lady has peculiar taste. Hey! <laughs> you and your mother, do you both live on Lady Westmacott's estate? I'm only there for the holidays. Most of the time I'm at boarding school. I imagine that's not very pleasant. No, it's fine. I have friends there. You always have to be so quiet in the lady's house. And I'm not allowed to bring any friends. Such a big house with so many places to hide. And no one to play hide and seek with. You said it. Alright, let's hear about his father. This is going to be sad as shit. Has your mother worked for the lady? Two years. And your father? What does he do? He stayed home. I used to go fishing with him. And hunting. He even let me shoot a real gun. And then? Then mom fought with him. And he left. I was seven. That's sad. Oh, and uh, how old are you now? In eight months, I'll be nine years old. And do you already know what you want to be when you grow up? A burglar? <laughs> no. We'll see. Maybe an actor. Really? Well, I don't know. You need a lot of talent for that. I'm an actor in a theater group, you know? You are? Oh, yes. And I'm one of the best in our group, if I may say so. I get really deep into my roles, you know? I don't just talk like the character. I think like him. I become him. It's the only way to... <coughs> Matt, are you okay? <coughs> oh, shit. I think you just have to be good at copying things to be an actor. That... That wasn't bad. Disturbing, but not bad. Wow, what the fuck? I thought he was about to die. The Baroness in the second compartment over there is missing her purse. Do you have any idea where it could be? <laughs> Do I ever? Hmm? That guy over there with the violin case? What about him? He picked up something in Zurich put it in his violin case. Really? Yeah, and he made sure that nobody saw him. But you saw him? Uh-huh. Did you also see what it was? Nah, not really. But now that I think of it, it must have been the Baroness's purse. I should look into it, shouldn't I? I think so. Oh shit, man. This kid's a fucking little detective, man. Tell me, Helping me out. Have you seen the steward anywhere? 
was walking around a little while ago, though. Hopefully they didn't forget him in Zurich. <laughs> What's he supposed to do? I'm looking for a key to open a compartment door. Did you check his things behind the counter? I'm sure the drawers will be locked. Can't you break it open? Or pick the lock like the raven? Perhaps. But I'd need a piece of wire or something like that. Ask my mom. She has a lot of hairpins. She doesn't like the wind messing up her hair. Mm. Thanks for the tip. Damn, this kid's so fucking got everything for me. He's fucking smarter than me. Shit. Alright. Mr. fucking violinist. Excuse me, sir. About the purse. Ah, yes? Has it been found? Someone saw you with your violin case on the platform in Zurich. What's the meaning of this? I didn't steal anything. Nobody said you did. I just wanted to ask you whether you might have noticed anything on the platform. Ah, well. Why did you think I was accusing you? Well, I thought uh, because you mentioned my violin case in the context of the purse. Apropos, may I have a look at your violin? It must be a very extraordinary piece. Oh, that's, uh, that's not possible. It's a genuine Guarneri. Very valuable. Very. And also very sensitive. What could harm it here? Light? Air? May I ask you to open the violin case? No, you may not. I'm not guilty of anything. I'm afraid I have to insist. Then I'm afraid you need a warrant. I will not stand back and let you rifle through my belongings. You stole it, you fucking faggot. Have a good trip. Thank you. I think the violinist is hiding something. But to be sure that Matt was right, I have to get a look in the violin case. How can I do that without the violinist's consent? Alright, do I have anything to distract him? That's not gonna work. Uh, no, I don't want to cheat. Fuck, man. Damn it. Alright, um... Alright, Matt. Tell me now. The violinist won't let me check his violin case. Of course he won't. He's hiding something. Try to distract him, then you can have a look in his case. Yeah, do it, Matt. Hmm. What do you suggest? I... I could tell him there's a suitcase full of money in the next carriage. If he's a thief, he'll definitely want to take a look at it. I don't think he'll fall for that. Or I can insult him and then run away. He'll try to catch me, and you'll have a chance to look in that violin case. Now that I think about it, this is something I have to attend to on my own. It would be expecting a bit much from a little boy. Little boy? You must be kidding. Uh, sorry, uh, Sheriff, but your idea about distracting him is good all the same. So long. So longer. Damn it. Alright, let's see how I can distract him. violinist is uncooperative. I'm not authorized to search his belongings against his will and without a good reason. And he knows it. I have to come up with something. Matt says the violinist put something in his violin case on the platform. Seems suspicious somehow. The question is, how credible is a statement from an imaginative boy? The violin? Damn it. Let me see if I know anything.
First, I better see about getting the door open. It doesn't seem. There has to be a way to distract him. Well, first, I'm gonna try and get this bobby pin. Mrs. Miller made a good impression. She wanted to protect Lady Westmacott from me, a pushy admirer. Very, but she does seem a little nervous. I imagine she has her work cut out for her with Matt. And a difficult. There are foul but. No, I want to talk to Miss Miller. Uh, Mrs. Miller? Yes? Did you notice anything unusual on the train? Oh, I'm afraid not. I was totally focused on my work. She's always got an awful lot to do, my Mary. You have to tell me if that's not all right with you. Good Lord, child. Knit as much as you want. So, nothing out of the ordinary? No, Constable. Uh, uh, please excuse my unusual request, but Matt said you have some hairpins. Could I borrow one? One of my hairpins? It's a long story. It would be a big help. Well, if you really need one, go ahead, Mary. The constable won't do it any harm. Will you, Mr. Zellner? Of course not, madam. All right, now we can lock it. It'll do nicely, madam. How very kind of you. Goodbye, Mrs. Miller. Goodbye, constable. All right, let's fucking lockpick this shit. All right. I need a bit of... And suddenly, it's me who's the thief on the train. Whoops. That was easier than expected. Oh, shit. Hmm. Batteries, a toothbrush, a shaving brush. But not the key to the compartment door. Just this one. Hmm. Too small for the door, but it might still be useful. What is a key for then? A shortwave radio. It's amazing how small these things have become in the last ten years. All right, maybe this guy knows something. This doctor guy seemed very smart and intellectual. Hello, Dr. Gebhardt. Ah, Mr. Zellner. Auf Wiedersehen, Dr. Gebhardt. Goodbye, Constable. It was a pleasant chat, really. Okay. So we got some things from there. Let's see if we can go and talk to this guy. I don't believe that it's no use. The bolt is too short to get a good grip on it. Well, let's try this key. No, that's a totally different key. This one is made for a padlock. I need a... Oh, the padlock outside. Okay. This is for the box out there. Hopefully we can get like a hammer to fucking knock that violinist out. Or some shit. What was it? Pliers? What the hell are pliers gonna do? Hmm. 